We're here at the parking lot for the overlook for the Mountain Meadows Massacre. The trail goes up there. In early September 1857, about 140 people camped in this valley. Most of them were families from Northwest Arkansas, led by Captains John T. Baker and Alexander Fancher. They were headed to California. Beginning on September 7th, they, the camp was attacked by a group of Mormon militiamen and Paiute Indians. The immigrants fought off their attackers until September 11th, when the militiamen entered the encampment under a white flag of truth. Of truce. The militiamen deceived their victims into surrendering weapons and property in exchange for protection and safety. At a prearranged signal, militiamen shot the men, older boys, and some of the wounded. Mormons and Paiutes searched from their hiding places and in a matter of minutes massacred most of the remaining immigrants. In 1859, soldiers in the United States Army buried the victims' scattered, scavenged remains. Seventeen years after the massacre, a federal grand jury indicted nine Mormon militiamen for crimes related to the massacre. And about 50 other militiamen were involved, along with an unknown number of Paiute Indians. Only one, John D. Lee, was brought to trial and convicted. He was executed near here, March 23rd, 1877. On September 16, 1859, 17-year-old James Berry witnessed an event he would never forget. He saw 15 children return to relatives and friends in Arkansas. Those children were the survivors of the massacre. an artist depiction of the surviving children being taken to Hamblin Ranch. You can see the memorial down there.
this shows you the immigrant campsite. The Women and Children Memorial through there. The Men and Boys Memorial through there. Those believed to have been killed at or near the mountain meadows were and over here the following children survived and were returned to their families. Now we came down the hill to the memorial, down from the overlook. This rock cairn is patterned after one that was built in May 1859, two years after the massacre. Soldiers in the U.S. Army erected the cairn to mark the place where they had buried the bones of 34 members of the wagon train. In 1999, after years of neglect, the memorial received renewed attention from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints.
Mountain Meadows Massacre Gravesite Memorial, built and maintained by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, out of respect for those who died and were buried here and in the surrounding area following the massacre of 1857. These stones honor the Mountain Meadow Massacre victims whose remains are buried in various places in this valley. In honor of those who rest in this field, they were innocent and died in unjust attacks that began on September 7th, 1857. They were defending their friends and families who buried them before leaving the protection of their camp. To the other victims of the Mountain Meadows Massacre who lie in unknown graves, rest in peace and be assured you are remembered.
Now after the overlook and the gravesite, we're over here at the memorial to the men and boys. in memory of the immigrant men and boys from Arkansas massacred here in the Mountain Meadows on September 11th, 1857. Next is the memorial for the women and girls. This is the fourth site of memorials for the Mountain Meadows Massacre. This one is dedicated to the women and girls massacred here. We went up on the top of the hill overlooking the valley, then to the gravesite, then to the men and boys memorial, and now the women and girls right here. May we forever remember the women, children, and wounded who died near here on September 11th, 1857, as part of the Mountain Meadows Massacre. Most lie in unmarked graves somewhere in this valley. Only 17 small children survived. <laughs>